Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I've actually just finished editing the video you're about to watch, but I needed to add this into the beginning. I filmed this video a really long time ago, and after I filmed it, I set an upload date for the future, and then I never got around to editing it, and then I forgot it was there. So basically, long story short, this video was filmed at the beginning of September. We are now in November. <laughs> Procrastinator of the year goes to me. But I actually think this video is more relevant now than it was in September because the lovely team over at H Beauty, Harrod's new beautiful child, some may say, they did actually open a store in Lakeside on the 17th of September. So I filmed this before the store opened. Bear that in mind. That's the first thing I've got to say. Second thing I've got to say is watching this back, I was like, oh my goodness. All of these items would make such great Christmas presents. There's a bit of a range of budgets in here, but if you know anyone that's really into skincare or beauty in general, and you're like, what on earth am I gonna get them for Christmas? I've got you covered in this video, my friend. There's quite a few luxury items because it is Harrods Beauty. I do feel very, very lucky to receive the gifts that I have. So I wanna say a big thank you to the team over at H Beauty, first of all. But yeah, anyone in your life who loves skincare, who loves a bit of luxury and you wanna treat them, let this be your beauty gift guide so without further ado let's get started let's rewind back to the beginning of september before han got lazy <laughs> i even put a posh white shirt on here she comes wait for it here comes the posh white shirt look at me with my posh shirt on and my posh hair because i've got a gift from harrods oh i'm a changed lady <laughs> who do i think i am maybe i should check there's not lipstick in my teeth oh there was you can take the girl out of essex but you can never take the essex out of the girl guys i have got the biggest delivery from harrods ever Honestly, I can't believe it. I never need a Christmas present in my life again. There's a brand new Harrods Beauty store opening in Lakeside. A lot of you guys are also from Essex that watch my videos. I live about 35 minutes from Lakeside. It's one of my favorite places to shop. Before lockdown, I went probably far too often. But on the 17th of September, Harrods Beauty is opening. I am so excited to visit. Bringing a little bit of class to Lakeside. <laughs> well overdue, some may say. <laughs> Anyway, the lovely team at Harrods sent me this huge parcel and I mean these bags were full to the brim and get this right, they arrived in an Addison Lee. In my mind, Addison Lee was reserved for One Direction. If you got in an Addison Lee, you were posh. These products are posh. But I wanna share with you some of the bits that are gonna be stocked in the Harrods Beauty Store. Obviously, there's gonna be so much more in store as well. I honestly just can't believe I've received this delivery. I feel so lucky. So I'm gonna get started because there's a lot of stuff here. But if anyone from the team over at Harrods Beauty is watching this, thank you so much. I've actually divided this stuff into sections. So I'm gonna start with the makeup. First product they sent over is the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara. I think it's brand new anyway. I swear I've seen adverts for this on telly. I'm a big Charlotte Tilbury fan. 24 hour lift effect. What more could you need? Next up, one of my favorite products ever, the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I've got through an entire one of these. So good for under your eyes, setting your makeup and keeping it in place all day long. Next up are a couple of bits from a very posh looking brand. Amanda Harrington. You just know that lady's got a nice house with a country kitchen, don't you? Amanda sent over the ultimate gradual tan. This is step one. We all know how I feel about a bit of fake tan. And then step two is the illuminating bronzing face mist with collagen and CQ10. I don't know what CQ10 is, but it sounds fancy. If it's a combo of letters and numbers, you know it's scientific. But I do know that collagen is really good for your skin. So very excited to try these. Hopefully they'll give me a nice little glow, a classic beauty blender bright pink and I love it next up we have a mini glam palette from Natasha Denona these colors look really easy to wear it's a nice compact size super good for traveling hopefully I'll be traveling soon 2020 what a year but when I do eventually travel again whether it's abroad or whether it's to a premiere in you bet this is coming with me next up a couple of lashes in a well posh lash box these are probably the most beautiful lashes that I own they're from a brand called lash star and they are visionary lashes at zero zero Five. Oh, Amanda Harrington sent another one. God bless her. This is the facelifter top up and tone. This should have been included with the other two tan products. Step one, step two, this is step three. So you use this to kind of like contour out your tan. Love that idea. Spritz a small amount of face mist onto this brush and sweep along the cheekbones. Love that. So you tan your whole face and then with the mist, you put it on the brush. Do it on your cheekbones, that's such a good idea. Next up, you're not even ready for this. This is 
the poshest lipstick I have ever seen in my whole life. It's from Givenchy. What now? So it comes in this little box. Oh, it's got an outfit. This lipstick has an outfit change. So first of all, the shade is in 102 Beige Plume. It's a really beautiful colour, looks super wearable. I'm really glad that it's a very natural colour. I'm not really the kind of gal that goes for red lipsticks or dark lipsticks very often, but a lipstick in this shade is literally my dream. So we have the plain outfit for everyday use, or if you're going out for a nice posh meal, just get her changed. She's got a bit of bling on her. I actually cannot believe this. I feel so bougie. I feel like I need to book a meal in a posh restaurant just to take the lipstick out for its first adventure. And then to apply all this very posh makeup, Harrods also sent this mini wearable lighted beauty mirror. A wearable mirror that lights up. What now? <gasps> Blimey. Oh my giddy aunt. Can you see this? It's got a place to put your fingers in. It's got a little button on the back. That is insane. That's such a good idea. Or it's got a little stand on the back so you can just stand it on your makeup table. Oh my god, the handle spins round. It's even got a charging port. Selfies are levelling up my friends. And you can just pop it in your makeup bag and take it wherever you go. I'm gonna make sure I link all of these products in the description down below because honestly guys, some of these things are life changing. <laughs> okay, so that's all the makeup. Next little thing is a scalp brush. These are super handy for helping your hair grow. It stimulates your hair follicles. You just use it when you're washing your hair, you can rub your shampoo in with it. Okay, next category is perfumes. You should have seen my face when I saw this. Gucci Bloom. I wanted to try this perfume for the longest time. Let's give it a whiff. Sorry, let's experience the tantalizing fragrance. How posh is that? Gucci perfume, dripping in Gucci. Oh, I like that. I like a strong perfume, something a little bit musky. This is very floral, but it defo has musky undertones. The next perfume they sent over is the Jimmy Choo Seduction Collection Amber Kiss Perfume. I can't really spray this one because I've just sprayed the other one. <gasps> This bottle is so posh. Look at that. Imagine that on your dressing table. It screams elegant lady. Mmm, that smells so lovely. Even the lid is heavy. I'm the kind of person that would put that on a bookshelf to make it look posh. The next perfume is from a brand that I'm not sure how to pronounce. Perfumes de Mali, Delina Royal Essence. It's all in French, um, so I don't understand it, but the box looks posh. And it's baby pink, and we like baby pink. And then finally in the perfume section, this little box from Creed. And in here, there are five little sample perfumes. These little things are so handy for your handbag. I try and keep one in every handbag that I have, just so when I'm out and about, no matter what bag I've got, I've got a little spritz. Okay, and then the final section is skincare. This is probably the biggest section. I'm gonna start off with the thing that I was absolutely shook by, the Foreo. UFO 2. Excuse me? I've seen quite a lot of influencers using this. I've actually worked with Foreo myself in the past. I love their products. I think they are absolutely genius, but I've never tried this. So this is a heated LED power mask and I believe you put the masks in and then you put it over your face. I need to do a bit of research and test it out and I'll document it on my Instagram story. So if you wanna find out how I get on with this, go and follow me over on Instagram if you're not already. My username is Fabulous Hannah. No ifs or buts. So it takes 90 seconds. You go all over your face with a face mask. And then to go with this, I have two of the face masks. So this one is Glow Addict Enhanced Brightening Pearl Infused Face Mask. And this one is the H2 Overdose Ultra Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Infused. Next up, is the Pixie Glow Tonic. I've heard so many people rave about this and I've never tried it, so I'm very excited to give it a whirl. It's an exfoliating toner. Gently exfoliates and brightens, revealing healthy, glowing skin. Let me know if you've tried this before. I would be very intrigued to hear how you got on with it. This scares me a little bit. This is the Glow Pro Micro Needling Regeneration Tool. Micro needling. Do I trust myself to micro needle my own face? Not entirely sure. I mean, I'm gonna use it, obviously. I'm gonna give it a try. If I fail with it, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Next up is a product from Eborian. I've actually tried their product before. It's really nice skincare. This is the Ginseng Royal Supreme Gold Mask. I believe it's a peel off mask. This packaging reminds me of something that like your auntie would have and you'd go to their house when you're six years old and you'd see something like this on their dressing table and be like, wow, that's so grown up. Then from Dermalogica, 
is the Brightening Powder Exfoliant. I absolutely love the Glossier Solution, which is a chemical exfoliant. I use that every single day. I didn't realize how important it is to keep your skin exfoliated. Obviously, you wanna get rid of the dead skin and the dirt. So I'm very excited about this. I'm definitely gonna be using this. Again, any of these products that I love, I will be sure to document on my Insta story. Then from The Ordinary, we have the Saliclic, Saliclic, Salicyclic Acid Mask. Uh, I don't know what this is. Formulated for blemish prone skin. I don't think I've heard of any of these other brands, so these must all be really posh. Dr. Dennis Gross, that's a bit of an unfortunate name. But we have the Universal Daily Peel. Helps smooth fine lines, minimize pores, and improve the appearance of uneven tone and texture. Oh, these are in like little sachets. So first of all, you use this side to exfoliate and smooth, and then this side is the anti-aging neutralizer. You know who's gonna be sharing these with me? My mum. Next up is a cleanser. This is from Grown Alchemist. This is the Hydra Restore Cream Cleanser. I use a cream cleanser every single night, so this is definitely going in my skincare cupboard. I need a bigger skincare cupboard for all this stuff. Next up is the Dr. Barbara Sturm. Lots of doctors in this video, aren't there? Molecular Cosmetics. Scientific. I was never good at science in school. This is the Drops Discovery Set. So in here are anti-pollution drops, glow drops, and sun drops SPF 50. I like the idea of the anti-pollution drops, especially when I'm going back into London. Then we have a serum. This is from Strivectin Brighten and Correct Vitamin C Serum. Love a bit of Vit C in my orange juice, in my serums. I'll take it all. Then we have the Vital Vita 12 Intensive Moisturizing Treatment. Eve Lom Cleanser. Like I said, love a cleanser. I'm flying through these, but next up we have a lotion. This is from a brand called Indie Lee. This is the Lotion Tonic COQ10. <gasps> the letters and numbers are back. Must be a good ingredient. I need to do some more research on that. Hydrate and rebalance your skin's pH levels with this hyaluronic acid and aloe vera based essence. That sounds right up my street. Did anyone know that a neck mask exists? because I definitely didn't until I had this in my hands. This is from a Spanish brand called Natura Bice, but it's the Inhibit Neck Mask. I've never thought to take care of my neck before, and now I feel a bit guilty about it. We have another one that's not in English, but this is from La Mer, and it is The Concentrate. Not sure if this is gonna be like a moisturizer or a serum, but either way, I'll give it a go. Tata Harper, I feel like that's a posh brand. But this is the Water Lock Moisturizer. I really like the sound of that. I want to lock all of the water into my face that I possibly can, you're trapped. <laughs> Anyone used to watch that when they were younger? I want to trap the water into my face. We want to keep ourselves moisturized, ladies. Next up, we have an oil. So this is from Glow Elixir. This is the Revive Hydrating Radiance Oil. I don't use a lot of oils on my face, so maybe I should. Hmm can mix this in with your moisturizer. Oh my gosh, I bet that gives such a nice glow. And then the final product is from Star Skin Pro. Love their face masks. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Microfiller Mask Pack. The image on this looks a bit scary. It looks like she's injecting stuff into her face, but I don't think she is. I think it comes with the little needly looking thing and you just squirt it onto your face and then you put a mask over it. And then when you take the mask off, you leave the serum on overnight for the best results. But anyway guys, that is everything that the lovely team over at Harrods Beauty very kindly sent me. I honestly can't believe this and I want you guys to know that I never take PR packages for granted. I appreciate every single product, every single parcel that arrives on my doorstep, whether it's from Neil the Postman or whether it's in an Addison Lee. Oh my God, I still can't get over that. I can't wait to go and visit the store over at Lakeside. Again, I'll document that on my Instagram stories when I do eventually go. But I hope if you go, you enjoy it. Let me know what it's like. Thank you so much to the team at Harrods Beauty for all of these lovely products. I honestly feel so spoiled. But anyway, guys, do subscribe to see my future videos. Let me know in the comments down below what is your number one skincare product. I want to know. I want to get on it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a lovely week, and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye, guys. Love ya. Right, I'm off to inject this mask onto my face. Adios. Wish me luck.